A father, a son, and an extraordinary act of heroism is the fascinating topic of a new book by Chris Edmonds called No Surrender. And Chris joins us now to discuss the real life story that inspired the novel. It's great having you, my friend. Hi, Sean. It's great to be with you. All right, let's talk about this book, No Surrender. Uh, what, what prompted you to, to start looking into your father's wartime experiences and put this book together? Uh, I was just very curious about what, what he experienced in World War II. He never talked about it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, my daughter was doing a college project, and a history professor assigned her and her group uh, a project uh, on a family member, and they chose Dad. And I was a part of that journey with her and her group, and it just re really sparked my heart to, to learn even more about his World War II experience. Absolutely. And so I began researching. Yeah, no question. That seems like that generation, I mean, they had seen so much, uh, yet they, they stayed kind of quiet about it. So to be able to kind of unravel that mystery and, and, and see what, what your dad was all about during those times is amazing. I know your dad, he kept diaries, right? Did, did you read any of those? I did. I read those as a young person, and I read those while I was in college. I even asked Dad about them. You know, I, I pulled them out, and I said, Dad, let's talk about this. He said, no, son, I don't want to talk about it. I said, Dad, come on, you've got, you've got to share some, some of the, you know, what does these things mean? And he said, I'd rather not talk about it, son. He said, I'll just tell you one thing. He said, uh, the Germans humiliated us, and that's all he would say. Wow. Uh, so he left it largely mysterious, and uh, I, I really hadn't pulled those diaries out for some time. Uh, and then when my, my daughter was in college, as she was starting that project, we pulled those back out. And rereading those words, it, was, it wasn't like I'd read them for the first time, but it was like, there's got to be more to this. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea what more meant, and uh, there was a whole lot more. No question. I know in, in your research, of course, like we all do, we go to Google, uh, you'd search for the 106th Infantry. Where did that search lead you? Uh, that search led me to an article by the New York Times. Uh, it was entitled, Richard Nixon, Nixon's Search for a New York Home. And it was the story of uh, Lester Tanner selling his townhouse to the president in 1980. It was being told, retold in 2008 by the editor of the New York Times. Yeah. And in that article, Lester, who was also a POW in World War II, just so happens that he was the, a, a POW that my father saved, helped save. Wow. And he mentions that in the article uh, and names my dad. He says, wow. Master Sergeant Roddy Edmonds. Uh, and so it, that's really when I said, I've got to, I got to find out. I got to meet Lester Tanner. And I, I uh, made plans to come and visit him in New York City for the first time. Wow, that's, that's, man, that's remarkable. That's so cool to be able to find new stuff about your dad after so much time. You even found out your dad was previously married. Dad didn't talk about that. Yes. <laughs> He did. He there's a lot he didn't talk about. <laughs> he was previously married, yeah. uh, married his high school sweetheart, Marie. And, uh, you know, I knew that he'd been married before, but I had no idea that I had a sister Wow! Uh, until I began this journey and uh, a sister that lived in Knoxville, which is you know, my hometown and a sister that now I've met and have fallen in love with. Uh -huh. And um, so it's been, uh, you know, it's been uh, an amazing uh, to, to know that I, I have an entire family um, through my sister that uh, our family grew, grew overnight by leaps and bounds. That's so cool. It's such a, I, I, I've been in that situation once before. I found out I had another brother when I was eight years old. Uh, and it is, it's wow. only people that have been in that situation before know how incredible that moment is. It's like, wow, what? Okay, I have more family. Who knew? Uh, Chris, yeah, exactly. Congratulations exactly. on the book, and uh, it's a perfect holiday read, I know, and I know we can pick it up online. It's great having you, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sean. They can go to nosurrenderbook.com and find out more. Thank you, you very much. You heard the man. Get your copy of No Surrender. Perfect holiday read. Visiting that website on your screen will get you it. Harper Collins Publishers, the proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.